I'm Maura Plucina with Herman and Wallace Pelvic Institute, and I have Rivki Chudnoff here with us today, and we are going to talk about her new class. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, Maura. I'm Rivki, and I'm an instructor here at Herman and Wallace. I teach the Pelvic Floor Series. I'm in private practice doing pelvic health here in North Jersey, and I work with patients with myriad of diagnoses, everything from urinary incontinence to pelvic pain. And I wrote this course about treating patients who come from conservative religious backgrounds. And that's what I'm really excited to be talking to you about it today. That's super awesome. I came, I grew up in like Catholic school. And so this class was like, as soon as I heard it, I was like, Ooh, this sounds really <laughs> interesting. So tell me a little bit about your course. Give us, you know, the little short story about it. Absolutely. So I found that I treat a lot of patients in my practice personally, who come from very conservative religious backgrounds. And I think that it's challenging sometimes for clinicians when either they themselves are not familiar with cultural norms or religious norms of people, individuals who come from that kind of background, and then they show up in their waiting room. And, and as public health therapists, we're really comfortable asking questions about sexual practices, bodily functions, you know, histories, and what otherwise would be considered really personal questions if we were at a dinner party, like as public Public health professionals, we like specialize in too much information. Like that's what we do for a living. And we ask people all kinds of questions and we are touching and evaluating really private areas of, you know, people's lives and their bodies, obviously with their consent and in order to be able to help them. And I think sometimes when patients present in the clinic, either, you know, they visibly look like they've come from a different kind of cultural or religious background than your average New Yorker, I hate to be so uh, East Coast centric or your average city dweller, right? Or perhaps, you know, you're speaking to them and, and they start telling you about their lifestyle, that they come from a really religious background. Maybe they were raised in that kind of background. Maybe they continue to hold laws and cultural norms that are really different than regular sex secular society. And this can be really intimidated for your average therapist because we're, we're, you know, we're like, well, I don't know. Can I ask them the questions, you know, about arousal, which I would normally ask somebody who's having pelvic pain with, for example, or can I, you know, all kinds of questions. And I think as healthcare professionals, we really try to go into this field because we want to help people. I think in general, you know, people who go into this field are sensitive. We're a caring group. We're, you know, compassionate. We're empathetic. And we really, you know, in medicine, first do no harm. And we really don't want to embarrass our patients or make them uncomfortable. So I think that this course really came out of that feeling of, equipping healthcare practitioners to be able to engage with patients from all kinds of backgrounds, giving professionals a little bit of background into different kinds of religions and cultures and norms. And while not every person who practices, you know, a certain religion will practice the same or have the same beliefs or been raised the same way or currently feel the same way or follow the rules, but just have some kind of framework and guidelines to work off of, to even have a starting point of, of understanding of where patients may or may not be coming from, what kind of questions to be asking, what kind of things to be sensitive to, which may or may not apply to your patient. But I think that it'll be really helpful to kind of help both the clinician feel more comfortable and also put our patients at ease that we are open and educated and we've educated ourselves and we're not relying on our patients to, you know, necessarily start telling us, teaching us the first thing about every religion, but we have some form of background to be able to start a conversation um, and ask the right questions. Yeah, I think that's so great. And so we talked about some of the questions that we talked about, like why you made this course. That's super awesome that you're making it so that we're able to interview those patients and talk to them and feel comfortable. And you also talked about really why like someone would want to be there because we want to be able to be that safe space for our patients, right? Absolutely. Um, so tell me a little bit about the format of your class. Like, is it all lecture? Is it like case studies? Is it interactive? Absolutely. So there's a really nice pre-recorded segment, which I really love. 
I myself come from a conservative religious Jewish background, but I don't pretend to know the first thing about, you know, other cultures in depth. So um, practicing cultural humility, which is one of the things we talk about this course, is I interviewed, well, first of all, the course, there are so many religions in the world and so many cultures, but just in terms of brevity and being able to make this a one day <laughs> course, I, the focus of the course is on Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Judaism. And granted, it's not going to cover all areas or aspects of those religions, but just a general broad strokes picture. So pre-recorded material is segmented of interviews that I did with an imam, with a pelvic health professional who was practicing Hindu, and with Tina Shermer Sellers, who is an author and uh, wrote a book on sexual shame in addition to her background in Christianity and Judaism, and a sex therapist who, you know, practices uh, Judaism and has a lot of clients in that in that religion as well. So those interviews kind of lay the framework to kind of give a basis coming from people who either they themselves practice that religion or that is the population that they specialize in treating. You know, it's my interview with them where I'm sitting in your seat, Mora, <laughs> and asking them, I tried to ask similar questions of each individual that kind of lays the framework. And that will hopefully prepare our participants for when they come to the live segment of the course, which will be part of it is lecture, really breaking down everything from religious garb. Like, what does it mean? If I have a patient who's wearing this kind of garment, what could it mean? What might it tell me about, you know, where they come from or what they might, what rules they might be following? And kind of destigmatizing dress and customs. So in demystifying, I guess is the word I'm really looking for, uh, as opposed to being able to ask patients like, oh, what's that that you're wearing? Like, mm -hmm. but being able to have some kind of context and everything from dress to just some of the basic rules and laws of those traditions um, in their most basic form. And then it goes down and then we start talking about how that translates into clinical practice um, and how that might translate into treating a patient with different kinds of diagnoses. And there will be case studies as well. And I do have some of the people who I interviewed kind of piping into answer some of those case studies as well. So, and it, and hope for it to be interactive. I hope for it to, you know, be able to learn from each other and for participants to be able to both learn and also contribute to the conversation because we're all really just learning from each other in a lot of ways. Yeah, that sounds really awesome. I am excited to see if we can, if I can figure out a schedule where I can get to go in January and I'm sure you'll have other dates for this upcoming year of 2024 as well. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else that you'd like to tell us? Um, I was really excited when folks at Herman Wallace invited me to write this course because I think the Institute has done such a wonderful job addressing and as many different types of folks who might be coming into our office so we could become the most sensitive, compassionate, skilled, and educated practitioners we can be. So I'm really excited for this coursework to kind of take its place amongst the really the, all the wonderful courses that Herman Wallace has to offer. And I'm really excited to hear people's feedback on what they thought of it and continue to do this work, being able to serve people where they're at. And regardless of where we're at, personally, as clinicians, everybody comes in with our own story and our own background and being able to both integrate our own personal experiences and also be, as you said, a safe place for our patients to feel heard and seen and respected for who they are and what they bring to our offices. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. And your course will be available on Herman Wallace's website. And I think it'll be super awesome. Thank you so much, Maura. No problem. Excited to see you all there. I know. I know. <laughs>